Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. Back in 2016, Blackmagic released the Ursa Mini 4.6K Pro, which were a really, really cool camera. It is the baseline for the new uh, Ursa Cine cameras which are on the way from Blackmagic. This is a camera with 15 stops of dynamic range. It has a lot of great features, a lot of, you know, I also believe this was the first camera that Blackmagic did that had a flip screen that could kind of articulate, but uh, of course not all the way around, but at the time this was the thing. Um, and in this video, we're going to take this my now old camera, and compare that to the Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K full frame, or as I like to call it, the pixels in the Cinema Camera body, um, because this is more or less the same camera <laughs> as the pixels, which were just announced at NAB by Blackmagic. This, this is the same sensor, a lot of the features are the same, there are some small features which are not in this camera, but more or less this is the same. Camera. However, in this video we are going to go outside, shoot some different shots with these two cameras so we can compare them a little bit together and um, it's not going to be like a very big or in-depth uh, spec review thing or comparison. It's just going to be some nice shots I think and uh, a look at the image, what are the difference. Can we see a difference in the 15 stops of dynamic range versus the 13 stops, um, and are this actually important at all? I'm going to throw on some different lenses and doing some different tests and stuff like that. Not too in-depth, but pretty um, pretty fun test, I think it should be. Anyway, let's just jump right into the test, and of course I will talk to you along the way. So first up, I went outside to shoot the test here on the Sam Yang 24 millimeter lens on the Ursa Mini Pro. And then we switch to the full frame cinema camera 6K. And as you can see, the rolling shutter is definitely a issue with that camera. However, that can of course be fixed in DaVinci Resolve. Here we have a very simple pan shot on the Ursa. So you can see the difference in the field of view. And here we go to the full frame 6K in open gate. And here I just crop in to match the frame from the Ursa, as you can see right here. And then we go back to the full frame shot so you can compare the two things. For the next test, I went inside to the studio shooting on the Sam Yang 35mm lens. Again, same distance and the two cameras. And we start out here with the first shot from the Ursa Mini Pro. Um, and this is just, I did use the color checker here to set the cameras the same way. So this is the shot we have from the Ursa. It is really a nice image, I must admit. So now we'll just go to the 6K. And this is again an open gate on the 35mm lens from Sam Yang. And of course we have a bigger field of view and here I do a crop so this is what we have or the field of view we have from that camera at that particular mode. For the next shot I go into the sensor of the 35 millimeter on the camera so you can see we have a tighter shot and uh, I do crop in again here to make it fit with the shot from the Ursa. 4.6K, as you see right here. Those two shots match now pretty well, um, at least in the size or the sensor size. So for the last shot on the Cinema Camera 6K full frame, I go for the 6K mode, as you see right here. And then I just do a quick crop again, just to make it fit the screen. Pretty nice, I think. So for the next shot in the test, I shot on the Olympus 28 millimeter lens here on the Ursa Mini Pro. And um, I think it's a nice image. 
pretty cool, I think. It has a very, very nice look to it, in my opinion. So for this shot we're now doing here, we are going back to the full frame. And again, this is shot on the open gate. And of course, we do have a larger field of view when shooting in open gate. And that can, of course, be cropped. For the next test here, we just did the 35 millimeter sensor, as you see right here. And then I just cropped that in to match the frame, kind of. And for the next shot, we do the 6K shot here on the Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K full frame. And I crop that in again to make it fit the size from the Ursa, as you see right here. So the Ursa Mini Pro 4.6K is a awesome camera by Blackmagic, even though it is discontinued and you can't really get it in a regular store anymore. There are plenty of them on eBay. It doesn't have the same features as the Cinema Camera 6K full frame. However, it is also a way older camera, so of course some of the features are not in this older camera. However, it is still a great camera, it has a great image, and I really enjoyed shooting with it back in the day when I used it a lot. Nowadays I use actually the pocket cameras more because they are easier to carry for me. However, if you have a chance to pick up the camera on eBay, you are going to get a pretty good deal with this camera, most likely also with a lot of accessories and stuff like that. Anyway, I do hope you found this little video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's another video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.